Hello everybody, welcome back to part two of the uh, Thrift With Me video from the Treasure Trove in Hudson, Florida. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's video. Um, it's super fun in the store. I spotted these right here, and these are Satusi um, by Mayfair. It was actually manufactured in Canada between, I think it was 1960 to like 75. And the inspiration for the glass was actually um, Mexican art that was painted on glass. So that was where they got their information from. There I was trying to get the camera to focus and actually trying to read all the information on the back. So that's why it took me a minute. The back of it is leather and the front of it is um, painted glass. So it's, they're really interesting. I, I, I put them down, but then I ended up getting them. And this booth right here has a ridiculous amount of beautiful art glass. Um, I always check it because I, you know, want to see if the booths go on sale or anything like that. Um, this one doesn't seem to go on sale, but at the same time, this one also seems to have new things. So I think this booth is probably priced fine for what it has for collectors. So like, see those, those, um, those bluebirds of love or no happiness they were like 24 dollars a bird so um i guess for a collector like if you were to search ebay for something like that that's probably about what you'd spend but for me i can't really make anything on that so i leave them there this booth oh i noticed the little peter rabbit he was so cute i collect peter rabbit things and like bunnykin things for easter but don't we all i love bunnies they're just so darn cute um, up there you have some precious moments. You used to not be able to get your hands on those like in the 90s and stuff. They were super duper pricey, but I see them at the thrift store all the time now. Every once in a while, I will look them up because there are some that still sell for okay money. Um, but for the most part, they just aren't what they were. I'm sure they will have their time again. They will circle back around because all those kids whose moms had those will grow up and be like, oh my gosh, I had those when I was a kid, and they'll come back around. They'll have their time again. So I don't know if it's something you guys want to pick up here and there, um, pieces that you like. I know Dee, she has an amazing collection from the Thrill of the Thrift. So if they come back and they spike up in value, she's going to have like a kick butt set of them to like resell if she chooses. This piece right here is a piece of Italian pottery made for Neiman Marcus. Well, I looked this item up, but I didn't find it exactly. Um, this item here, well, ceramics in general, made in Italy for Neiman Marcus sell pretty well. Um, this isn't a lamb, but I did see a lamb cookie jar online and it's it sell it sold really well. It was like 200 bucks. So I figured for like 8.95 it had the fact that it was Italian pottery, it was nautical, and it was a vintage Neiman Marcus piece. I figured it had that those three things, so I would give it a whirl. Aaron pointed this out to me from a distance, and I was showing him how that was a really awesome puzzle that someone um, put together like that and framed. Gabriel wants to do that with his space puzzle. Gabriel loves outer space stuff. Um, and he has some puzzles, and I just bought him some puzzle glue so that we can put his puzzles um, permanently together. So this booth right here, um, I checked this booth all the time because this one in particular, around the corner in this little cubby, they kind of do their glass by color. And I just take my flashlight and I'll run it over the glass. And I found uranium glass for like three and four dollars in this booth and um and it was like pictures and uh just like different things i like in my uranium glass that i have that i tend to keep i try and keep the more um not interesting things but not just cups and plates you know what i mean like the a creamer or a measuring cup or something kind of or vase something like that so they have a pretty, I mean, their prices are pretty okay in this booth, but I didn't find any uranium glass this time. Just found this cute little baby angel here. I showed him in a haul video from yesterday, which I'll link if you guys missed it. I went ahead and did the haul because we do have a live sale coming and I wanted to make sure the items were shown. So 
yeah, there's so many cool things to look at at this store. I mean, I could be in here forever. Now, this is a booth that I tend to drool over when I come here. I was inspecting this apple paperweight because I suspect that it's probably Murano glass. However, someone glued felt to the bottom of it. Um, I don't know. It was 15 bucks. I probably could have bought it and like took a chance and tried to get the stuff off the bottom to see, but I just kind of left it. But this booth, this lady has, or whoever, I'm sorry, it could be a guy or a girl, but um, they have a good eye for things and they have all these little figurines. Like I always look at this duck right here. I love it. It's 20 bucks. Maybe one day I'll buy it for my own collection, but um, she has cases that I'm going to kind of show you here. Um, and she has like the prettiest pieces of glass. This lady has lots of little fairy lamps and things. Um, they're about $50 a piece. So that's kind of high for me to purchase in order to bring it to you. I don't know. I mean, you guys let me know if, um, you know, if I started it at like $60, if that's something that you'd be willing to play with there. But I know on eBay, that's probably, unless it's something crazy interesting, like, some Victorian era fairy lamp, you know. Um, I don't know if the starting it at 50 or $60, I don't know. I just, would it, I don't know. I don't know if it would sell. Um, so I try and get it as low as I can is my point. Um, so anyways, <laughs> you're probably, you guys are probably like, yeah, it'll sell, it'll sell. I just, that's a lot of money for, I wonder if, you know what I mean? I loved this painting here of this clipper ship. Those are my favorite ships, the ones that look like pirate ships because it like reminds me of, um, you know, like treasure and all kinds of stuff and it takes me to metal detecting and I just love it. This booth, you guys know why I love this one. Look at all these paperweights. Oh, I love this lady's booth. I was showing Aaron and Aaron was like, oh my gosh, look at all this stuff. I'm like, I know. Like this one that says New York State Fair, 1971. I would love something like that that said like 18 something. That would be like my dream paperweight. Um, I was showing him how I'm like, I don't think this person has been back because all these little Christmas things wouldn't be here. They would have like recycled their stuff in their booth. Um, all those bags there were actually mercury beads. All those bags, every one of them were mercury beads. <laughs> Here, this is a white chair that's very similar to the brown chair that I, I was talking while I showed it to you guys on like the camera, but um, the brown chair was $200 and that chair was like $40. So that was the end of that store. I didn't have as much footage left as I thought I did. So I'm here I'm clipping together a little bit of footage from the Treasure Mart. The first one was a Treasure Trove. This one was Treasure Mart. This is where my booth used to be that I talk to you guys about all the time. I love coming to this store. I was contemplating this like Otagiri style mug for 50 cents, but I put it back because I got mugs coming out my ears. So I didn't grab that. Um, I mean, maybe for 50 cents, I probably should have, and you guys will probably let me know, but <laughs> I didn't grab it. Um, but so yeah, I didn't have a ton of footage in left from the first part, which I thought I did. And then I didn't have a ton of footage from this place. So I was like, mm, I'll stick them together and they'll, they'll probably enjoy it. I was trying to figure out if this mushroom thing was Sears and Roebuck. And I was telling Aaron about it how the one for Sears is really popular. This booth, I've told you, this is a lot of like me giving you information today, isn't it? Um, this booth I've told you guys about, he has an estate liquidation company. So this guy will come in and he will um, buy up the items that didn't sell at an estate sale. Like he will buy the rest of the things. And he's got some pretty cool stuff. Like I always look at this Tiki guy, one day I should just buy it because Tiki stuff pr sells pretty well. Um, the little cat planter that was up at the top, I've looked at that a million times and um, it's never on sale. And I want to say it's like $24. Um, so I don't ever really grab that planter. Um, this picture was cute. Look at her. She got her little dolly in her hand. But yeah, he gets all kinds of cool stuff. I can't imagine having like a job like that where you can just be like, hey, I'll give you 300 bucks and just get like this kind of stuff. 
I mean, I would think that he probably gets a lot of stuff that's literally garbage, like that should be thrown in the trash. But, you know, I guess that's the risk you take. He's just got all kinds of stuff. Um, Yeah, he's one of my favorite booths to check through, even though I, you know, don't really buy a ton, ton from this guy. You just get to see really cool things. So that's why I love checking this booth out. So this booth every once in a while surprises me and has some interesting pieces of glass in here. So remember I remember I told you guys this store is kind of marketed as a indoor flea market. Now sometimes the booths that you come across are like legit like yard sale type items like you know kind of newer things just very just very yard sale-y to me like clothes and things like that and then you'll get booths like this one over here that is like legit like an antique booth like they have all kinds of antique things so you get just there's just such a mix in this place and every once in a while that booth um that, that i just passed it surprises me they get some good stuff in there this guy has a uh, spot at the local well not local to me but kind of local in that area I want to say it's called the airport flea market in Spring Hill Florida he has a booth over there uh, and I think the things that don't sell there he brings here um, I was talking to him before and if I remember correctly that's how it went that if it didn't sell out there he comes and brings it over here this day i don't know i look at this every time but i pick it up and i'm like this is kind of light and i don't know i think that's what gets me about it is kind of how light it is but if you guys like that let me know because that's been sitting there a long time um I've, i touch it every time i come in here so if that's something that you guys like i know i have some people that they love green glass you just let me know and maybe I will just make like the 15th time the charm and I will just buy the darn thing. <laughs> All right guys, so there is a few more minutes left of footage in this video, but I want it to pop on here and let you guys know that every Sunday at one o'clock we host live sales. That's one o'clock Eastern. We hold live sales here on the channel and that's where you will see a lot of the things that you um, are shown in the shop with me videos or that I show you in the haul videos So be sure to check back for those like I said Sundays 1 p.m. Eastern on my channel be here Also, don't forget to go follow us over on Instagram because we love to have new friends over there You guys are constantly sharing with me like your collections and things like that And we love seeing those things. So make sure you go follow us over there Instagram is super easy. Don't be intimidated. Create an account. It's free. You guys can follow us. You get inside Chapter 2 Vintage Co. Family News before it makes it here. So make sure you guys do that. Don't forget when you leave to maybe go drop me a heart or a little thumbs up or something like that. Well, before you leave, that would work out better. Before you leave, go do that. Um, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and hit the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. And I will catch you guys later. Bye.